Hi guys, so yeah, I keep getting attacked on this one, so <laughs> it must be a good video. I um, should enjoy it. Anyway, <clears throat> get behind thee, Satan, thou art of offence to me, thou, for thou savourest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. So, um, you're thinking like a man if you if you um, don't believe Jesus will die, all right, for 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 this, whatever. If you don't believe Jesus will die, <laughs> is is you know, and he says he's going to. That's your thoughts. That's of men. All right. So, <clears throat> what we have here? Timeline. So we have two witnesses killed down here. All right. So we understand the timeline. We've got seven years of seals and seven years of trumpets. Here's your three and a half years here. Three and a half there. All right. Um, times, times, and half a time. Um, all that stuff is in here, so you guys can check it out. See where they are, where they fit. Alright. <clears throat> um, got Matthew along this end. That's Mark, the Tribulation Saints. Matthew is about Judah. Alright, and Luke is about the bride. Alright, so let's, let's carry on. So, I'll just get this one out the road for you first. In the book of Revelation, we read about 42 months, 1260 days, time and times and a half. Three different periods of time of about three and a half years being described. Yet, for years, we've been told that the first two are actually part of the first half of tribulation. Others would say the second two are the second half of tribulation. However, it never made sense to me why there was three different descriptions, which equal ten and a half years, until I realized the prophecy that Paul was telling us in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 that the end of days is 14 years, 7 years of seals and 7 years of trumpets. When you realize that, you'll realize that the 42 months is about the second half of seals. The 1260 days is the first half of trumpets, and when the temple is done, and 10 and a half years in, and the pit is open, they fly away on the wings of an eagle for a time and times and a half, till the end of 14 years. Alright, so uh, what he was saying there, <clears throat> on the wings of an eagle, alright, um, times, times and half a time, so that, that's over here, alright, woman flies away, uh, <clears throat> alright, um, yeah, so if you want a bit more in-depth study on that, I think this video here will do that. So, uh, 42 months, and he just goes through it all and proves it out, word by word, alright? So, you, there can be no doubt, you don't have to doubt, alright? There's no leaving it to speculation, all that sort of stuff, so you can go through it. Alright, uh, the, the other thing too, the, the guys that like to hang on to the seven years... All right, it must fit everything must fit into the seven years of theirs all right i'm starting to realize it's not seven years for a start like just the burning of weapons is seven years how do you, how do you even it, that just doesn't not 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 logical anyway <clears throat> um, so let's have a look here so we got what we got is like uh wet, if you have a look weddings all right so this is You've got weddings through here, it's talking about weddings, and also you've got harvests, all right? So if you want to understand this model, that's what the Bible's trying to tell you through the parables and uh, that sort of thing, <clears throat> is your weddings and your harvests. All right, so Jacob worked seven years so that he could have Rachel, all right? And the time seemed like only a few days to him because he loved her. And then Jacob said to Laban, oh, Time is up, let me marry, marry your daughter. So Laban gave a wedding feast and invited everyone. But that night, instead of Rachel, he took Leah. All right. um, and Jacob had intercourse with her. Uh, he got the slave woman as well. Not until the next morning did Jacob discover that it was Leah. He went to Laban and said, why did, you, why did you do this to me? I worked to get Rachel. Why have you tricked me? Laban answered, it is not, for the, not the custom here to give the younger daughter in marriage before the elder. All right. So um, 
Yeah, you get, get the elder one first. Wait until the week's marriage celebrations are over and I will give you Rachel if you will work for me another seven years. All right, so... Uh, the first seven years, there's there's actually three. There was three here. There's a seven years here. So you got Luke, all right. This is where Leah Bride goes up. Then he works another seven years to get Rachel. Rachel is this lot here. Is uh, you got um, great multitude goes up first but uh, you've got the grapes over this side which is um, Judah so you got Judah so that's who he's after all right um, yeah so you see here Leah all right Leah wary wife of Jacob so if you have a look um, at the meaning of weary all right come here to be weary or impatient, become impatient, exhausted, find difficult, impatient, past, tired, right? All us bright, what are we all? We're all impatient and weary and complaining and yelling out and when are you coming? <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> all right, so that's uh, Leah bride, all right, which is here. This is Leah, Leah bride there. All right, <clears throat> what have we got here? Okay, the wedding. Okay, and Jesus answered and spoke unto him, and, and again by parables he said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which has made a marriage for a marriage for his son, and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. And he sent them again, saying, which have been so you can see here already right his son has already got his bride he's already he's got her and he's ready and he's waiting for the for the guests okay so he's trying to get the guests to come in yeah so that, that's basically it so all right so here's the bride okay um, guests, he's trying to get the guests to come in. Now, what have we got here? Oh, sorry, okay. Um, <clears throat> alright, so, um, <clears throat> let's just go through this. Okay, so, uh, Jesus is the white horse, okay? So when the white horse, uh, there's a 50 day period, um, and the Feast of Weeks. So during that 50 day period, there's 40 days, and 40 days is when Jesus is here warning um, Israel or in Jerusalem they must get out and repent because they're getting kicked off their land for not letting it rest. Um, and uh, yeah, and to repent. And while he's here, he's going to breathe on some workers, like in Acts, right? And they will be here and they will go through seals and bring in the great multitude. Just as the 144 will get their seals and they will go into trumpets and bring in Judah. All right, so it, it goes like that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, well, when he's in there warning, um, he sends this lot off, half this lot, or oh, I don't know if it's half, it could be more, whatever. The, some of this lot go up, some of this lot go in. All right, they go into the thing here. Um, when Jus Jerusalem is destroyed, that's when the red horse will ride. All right, so once that's destroyed, um, it's on. Now, um, I won't go too much into the other one. The uh, the famine is is the word, right? You won't be able to talk about Jesus. You won't. There won't be no. You're not allowed to have any. Um, you're not allowed to have God. All right. <clears throat> um, this lot here, most likely this from this lot. All right. These these are the ones they want to kill. These are the ones that when they go up um, in Revelation uh, six, I think it is. This lot, the ones that are complaining, are oh, how long, you know, before blah blah blah. You you guys know the story. Alright, so this lot is here, and this lot is the dead in Christ. Alright, 
they they are in Christ. They are the ones that rise first here, all right, just before the manilial reign. Um, so, <clears throat> what have we got? I'll just show you a harvest harvest models. All right. So you got the wheat harvest, first fruits, pre-trib escape, mid-trib, great multitude, corners and gleanings. All right. So I'll get you. You guys can look through those verses there. And then you got the grapes, first fruits, 144, main, post-trib, uh, return feet down, corners and gleanings. All right. So that's uh, your harvest models. Now, <clears throat> yes, um, let's have a look here. So, you got your building of your temple, right? Everyone's going, oh, the Jews have built the temple. Oh, it's the, let's see who built the temple. So, where have I got it? Zechariah. <clears throat> Uh, wrong one. This one, Zechariah. Nothing, not even the mighty mountains will stand in Zerubbabel's way. He will become a level plain before him. And, uh, it will become a level plain before him. And when Zerubbabel sets a final stone in the temple in place, the people will shout, My God, bless him, bless him. Uh, Zerubbabel was the one who laid the foundation of this temple, and he will complete it. Then you will know that the Lord of Heaven's armies has sent me. Alright, <clears throat> so he will outlay the foundation. So what you what you got here is around here somewhere, Zerubbabel will lay the foundation of the temple, right? Because it's destroyed now and it's flattened. Jerusalem is flattened, so it, there'll be war for a little while, so it won't it'll be too difficult. You won't be able to do much. They might just start it or something. But there's going to be war for a while, so they won't be able to do it. And then they'll finish it around around here somewhere. The foundation. Just the foundation. Alright. <coughs> now, who, uh, who builds the temple? Let's have a look. So I'll, you'll notice I'm looking in Zechariah here, right? And it's Zechariah 4. And I'll show you why that's important later. Alright, so I've got Zechariah 6. And speak unto him, saying, Speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold, the man whose name is the branch, and he shall grow up out of his place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord. Even he shall build the temple of the Lord, and he shall bear the glory. He, he will get all the glory. He shall sit and rule upon the throne, and he shall be a priest upon his throne, and counsel of peace shall be between the both of them. Alright, so temple <clears throat> uh, Mount Zion comes here all right it's right in the middle so the, and it'll be spectacular and there'll be a lot of people fighting against it all right but this is where he he starts rebuilding the temple all right so around here somewhere uh, the temple will be <coughs> will be completed uh, somewhere around this sort of thing um, all right so now, you'll see I said Zechariah 6, okay, and Zechariah 4. I'll show you why these are important. All right, so Hosea is written to the Gentiles, all right, um, during seals and trumpets. This is seven years of seals, and that's seven years of trumpets. And you'll notice Zechariah and Hosea are both exactly 14 long, all right? Both of them only go to 14 um <clears throat> chapters so the this one is to Judah through uh, seals and tribulation this one is to Gentiles through seals and tribulation all right and you'll also notice the other ones here these are chapters to years all right so if you look at the seven years we've just had whatever so you'll see them these ones here and that <clears throat> and then the rest is like for seals and trumpets all this is trumpets all this is seals all right so you can have a look through those and just see what you can find <clears throat> and notice them 
All right, so here's your Jubilee year. And all these lot going on about, oh, it's a Jubilee year. You, <laughs> Jubilee year is about the land, the king reclaiming his land, and he's going to uh, free all debt and all that sort of stuff, and he's going to free all the slaves. At the moment, right, because there's war happening, um, the Jews have been taken as slaves. They're going to be, um, yeah, they're going to be locked up and exact opposite to a Jubilee year. So, all those are saying it's a Jubilee year, no, <laughs> it's not a Jubilee year, don't be silly. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, now, the other thing I'll show you here. So, Paul's vision. I knew a man in Christ, alright, take notice of this, in Christ, above 14 years ago, alright, so Paul has to be somewhere in the future. 14 years okay so here's 14 years here's the city where everyone you know i think this actually might be third heaven <clears throat> over here um the city that's come down right so here's 14 years so when he says 14 years ago he means back here and you were man in christ 14 years ago all right so oh where was i Right, <clears throat> 14 years ago, whether in body, whether or not, I can't tell whether out of the body, I cannot tell, God knoweth, such one was caught up unto the third heaven, all right, and, and I knew such a man, sort of like, sort of like a man in Christ, all right, not, not a man in Christ, but s sort of, such, whether in the body, out of the body, I cannot tell, God knoweth. How that he was caught up unto paradise. See that? Paradise. This one? Third heaven. Paradise. Not the same places. Different places. Alright. Um, I heard unspeakable words. Okay, so. Not so happy with this one. Okay, and that one. Is this lot. Mid-trib rapture. Alright. That's the tribulation saints. And you'll see here, this is your 144 sealed first, right? So, um, these guys come out of most of them, I'd say. Or somewhere out of there, anyway. <clears throat> um, and then they go on and begin their ministry, okay? So, they go on to Mount Zion uh, to get their stuff happening. Now, where are we at? <clears throat> Um, so yeah, Paul's vision. Yeah, this is your wings of an eagle. Okay, so <clears throat> wings of an eagle over here. So, uh, the woman flees while the city and the streets and the temple are built. So, yeah, so your temple starts getting built out here. I suppose it's yeah, so that, yeah, and this is where the destruction, everything else kicks in, but the woman uh, escapes. It's just like a sideways rapture, this one, they, on the wings of an eagle. So you got Philip does a sideways rapture in, uh, with the, you know, where the eat, where the, the eunuch is. To, when he baptizes the eunuch, Philip does a sideways rapture. So these guys do the same sort of thing. All right, um, <clears throat> got that one. Uh, yeah, Ministry of Old. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I uh, got that. So the, the way to best look at it is Matthew is written to Judah, all right? So the book of Matthew is written to Judah, Jews, Rachel Bride, gleanings of the harvest, Jews, remnant, stay to the end of tribulation, escape on the wings of an eagle. The last seven years, trumpets, inherit the earth, all right? Mark, sleepy church, great multitude rapture, main harvest, sleeping church, stays to the end of seals, um, 
you go to Paradise, 144k come from this group. So, uh, what do you call them? Yeah, also, the guests, the guests of the wedding. All right. Luke is written to the Gentiles, Israel, Leah Bride, First Fruits, Leads Before Seals, Tribulations, First Gathering, Partial Rapture, Seal Workers. Goes to the Third Heaven. All right. So, you'll also see here, um, Luke talks to the Bride, and they pray to be counted worthy. All right, this is the only thing um, special about the Luke bride, pretty much, is that they pray that they are counted worthy to escape the coming tribulations because they uh, believe and trust he is coming for them. All right. Um, in Luke, he wore a glorious white robe, radiant in strongs, if you have a look. All right. In Mark, it was a purple robe. In Matthew, it was a scarlet robe. All right. So if you look, it said 23, 15, and 27. They're different colored robes for a purpose, right? It's it's not an error in the Bible. They're meant to be those colors. <clears throat> they each mean something something different. Luke, at the Last Supper, Jesus broke the bread, served them, and ate with them. All right. In Mark, he came in and they were already eating. He didn't serve them or eat with them. He berated them for their lack of faith. All right. In Luke, on the cross, Jesus said, Father, into your arms I commend my spirit. But in Mark and Matthew, he says, My God, why have you forsaken me, left me behind? All right. In Mark, John gets his head cut off like the Trib Saints will. Or the, I think they're bride, but anyway. Um, uh, where are we? So... Um, yeah, but Mark, yeah, Jesus gets a beating, the crown, the thorns put on his head, and the spear in his side in Martha and Matthew, in Mark and Matthew, but not in Luke. Luke speaks to the bride, Mark to the lukewarm church, tribulation saints, and Matthew to the Jews. Judah. Alright, so, here you got your three. Three harvests. I'll let you guys go through them all. It's got the, uh, <clears throat> the verses there that'll that'll help you sort it out so just pause and have a look through these all right look through this thing i'll also get you to take note of the lord's prayer all right so most christians think they are jews uh, as they only read matthew the lord's prayer in luke is for us not the lord's prayer in matthew matthew all right they're not the same the difference is not a mistake the mistake is not noticing the difference so in the lord's prayer in luke you'll notice they'll say forgive us our sins all right um and in uh, matthew it'll say forgive us our debts so if you understand the difference between that you'll understand why all right so uh, what, what else we got there um yeah so that, that's pretty much it i encourage you to have a look at those books there and gentiles hosea and zechariah all right um <clears throat> it was I'm pretty much got a most of that but anyway yeah here's where the two witnesses are all right so jesus is here he's built the temple all right he's still here um, I, I assume the other one's uh, Zerubbabel, um, whoever that may be, that's somebody uh, from today, from today's time, I'm not sure who. Um, so yeah, so that he goes down there and uh, then he comes back, alright, pretty much straight away just after these two, uh, these two die. Right, and this is where he comes feet down on the Mount of Olives. Alright, great earthquake. So this is when he comes back and he's not messing around. So that's why he's not messing around. <laughs> he's just done it again, died for Judah. Alright. And uh, now it's kick butt time. So, and uh, you've got your bowls at the very end anyway. So on the seventh uh, trumpet, whenever that may be. Um... Yeah, and I said the dead in Christ rise here. Well, yep, and they go in and help Jesus uh, rule and reign. And uh, run along. Alright, so I hope that helped. So yes, the 24 elders come from here, and you'll see them in Rev, 12, uh, Rev 4. Alright, this lot here, 
um, it would be part of the 24 elders as well and they're um, ten thousands and ten thousands and they're like every language and uh, people from all around the world all right so uh, it's not just 24 old dudes sitting on the throne there's, there's a lot of them all right um, also I think I showed where um, the oh, I didn't, didn't bring it up here or did I oh yeah 24 elders Ruth grafted in the Gentiles when she married Boaz, Matthew 1, 5. Ruth, uh, yeah, for the blood of the bloodline of the King David, David said, The Lord God of Israel has given rest to his people, and they shall dwell in Jerusalem forever. So they will no longer carry the tabernacles around with them, which is skin. You know, the tabernacles used to be made out of skin. Uh, and now their their duty was to help the sons of Aaron with the service and the courts and the feast oh spell that wrong and the feasts, the needs and the meetings of the house of the Lord. First Chronicles. There there were sixteen heads of um El El Elziz, Elzizar and eight heads of Ithama. First Chronicles 24. So the 24 elders in Revelation 4 are the representation of the bride, the church. We are grafted into that bloodline. Rev 3.21 tells us that if we are victorious, he will give us the right to sit with him on his throne as God has given Jesus the right to sit with him on God's throne. Alright, so there you go. <coughs> All right. Well, God bless, guys. I hope that helped. I'm sure it raised more questions than it answered, but I've given you the tools to go and look and check it out. And, uh, yeah, enjoy your studies. All right. God bless.